guys and welcome back to another tutorial video and in this video I had a lot of requests for this so it's a tool saving video like or inventory where like it's a data store tutorial but for tools so like if you want to save a tool and when you rejoin you get that tool back so say you have a knife say you have a sword and a gun and when you leave the game, um, I don't know how to explain this. And then when you come back, you'll still have it. Like, say you bought it or something, you'll still, it'll save and you'll still have it. So, tool saving. Let's insert a script. Hold on, guys. Um, a script in service, script service or workspace. Either one works, but I prefer service, script service. Because I make this bigger. Okay. So let's make a data store variable. So go ds for data store equals game colon get service data store service colon get data store tool save then game dot player added. Oh, there we go. Connect function player. So when the player connects, we're going we're going to want to check whether they have any saved tools, but if they don't, then we won't give them any tools because they don't have anything. All right. So um p call what p call does is everything you put in here, the script won't break. So in p call, if there's an error, it'll ignore and just go keep going so the script doesn't break cuz data store things can go wrong with data store. So anyways, we're going to want to get local tools equals ds colon get a sync. So we're going to get all the tools. Actually, let's make key local key, which gets all the player inform gets all the information from that data store, from the player's data store. So key is equal to id, id dash player dot user id key so then in the parentheses get sync key so if tools so if there is any tools saved then we're gonna want to give them the tools so for IV in pairs tools do so when we're saving the tools we're we aren't we're only saving the name of the tool not that tool itself because data stores, you can't save names. You can't save objects with data store. So in server storage, let's just put a folder called tools. So let's put let's put like swords and stuff in here. Like let's put weapons. But you could put whatever you want in there. Let's put a sword. No. Let's copy that. Sword. Put it in here in tools. Let's call it sword, not classic sword. Now, time bomb. Just get that, put it in here. And paintball gun. So now we have our three tools that get saved. Now Okay, so if game dot server storage find dot tools and find first child V then so if the save tool if it if there's a, if there's save tool if they could find it in this tool then we're gonna give them the tool. So since it saves the name. We're gonna look for that for the name of the tool that's saved in here. So if it if it's found, then we're gonna give them the tool. Then, actually, let's do this. Instead of doing this, just do local tool equals. Then let's just copy this and put it here. Tool then local yeah just do tool colon clone 
parentheses dot parent equals game dot yeah game no, player dot backpack and then you could just copy this then for this one just do player dot starter gear if you want it yeah but this is optional if you want it if the player dies and you want them to still have those tools then just do starter gear but if not when they die they won't get the tools back so this is what you do for both all right so that's what you do to load in their tools now to save their tools when they leave game dot players dot player removing yeah player removing so when they're leaving player so local key equals let's just copy this right here then set a sync yeah p call just in case it errors so it doesn't break then in this p call function let's put ds colon set a sync actually let's put a save in here local tools to save equals and then put two curly bracket thingies the curly squiggly ones then we're going to do four IV in pairs do then player dot backpack colon get children so when they leave it'll it's going to get everything that they have in their inventory it's going to get all of that and they're going to it's going to save it so yeah table if v then table dot insert v dot name no tools to save then comma v dot name so it's going to add the name to tools to save then after it say if after it save after it adds all those names to the tools to save we're going to save that table so key tools to save so now it saved the name oh my gosh hold on guys copy so now it saved all the names of the of the tools in the player's backpack and now when they rejoin everything that they had last time they'll have it again so I'll demonstrate right now so also this script will be in the description below if you want to copy it and take a look at it if if you don't get this then you could just do that um, and I'll be right back and I'll load in the game so you can see all right here we are in the game so as you can see no tools have loaded because we haven't saved any tools yet but let's say we pick up a let's say we get a sword we have the sword now so now if we leave the game let's leave the game okay my studio is right there and then let's rejoin we should still have our sword from last time And we don't have our sword. What's the problem? That's a whole bunch of other errors. All right, guys, I'll be right back and find the problem. All right, guys, so I found the problem. It's a pretty simple fix. So when a player joins, not everything has been loaded up yet. So it checks everything before everything has loaded up. So right here in player.backpack, we're, we're going to do player colon wait for child backpack. So it waits till lo it loads in. Then we'll do the same thing over here, but we'll put starter gear. Now it should be fixed. Now let's start up a game. All right, guys, let's get a sword. Okay, we have we have a sword. So see, it's right here. Now let's rejoin and see what happens. All right, it's loading. see we have our sword now let's get the rest of the tools let's get all these tools now they're all in our inventory and let's rejoin again so let's leave and then come back
and then we have all our tools from last time. So say we drop the, all our tools. We don't want it anymore. And then we rejoin. So then we shouldn't have the tools. And we don't. We don't have the tools. So it works just fine. Um, if you need any, if it's not working for you, let me know in the description below. No, not the, the comments below. And yeah, that's tool inventory saving tutorial, I guess that's what we could call it. And it'll be right in the description if you want to copy it and take a look at it. And that should be it for now. And I hope this video has helped you with something, especially data store since it's pretty hard. And if you have any questions or suggestions, tell me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.